hi guys welcome back to my channel so if this is your first time on this channel you are welcome please kindly subscribe to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for sticking with me okay so today we're going to be making a lovely boo boo dress this dress you can make it within 15 to 30 minutes max it's very very simple so you need what i have here is my fabric three yards of fabric okay so if you want it more full you can add more yards to it then the measurements you're going to be needing are you'll be needing your um full length you'll be needing your shoulder measurement you'll be needing your sleeve length and you'll be needing your sleeve circumference okay so these are just the shoulder you're going to is a free boo boo dress is one size fits all okay so I'm going to be folding my fabric into four the normal way we fold our fabric okay so guys like I said this is a very very simple um, simple um, dress to make okay so the first thing you're going to do is to make sure that your fabric is up to your gown length okay so I have about 60.5 here and you know my gown length is 60 so I'll use the remaining one to hem it is small actually but I'll use it like that so the next thing to do is to impute your shoulder measurement in here my shoulder length is 18 divided by 2 is 9 so I'm going to from this edge from the edge that is um, unfold okay so i'll impute my nine inches shoulder measurement here so for my sleeve length i have 24 but what i have here now is 17 so i'm just going to use it like that that's how the remaining of my clothes okay so if you i impute my um, shoulder measurement which is 9 then the remaining is 17 instead of 24 but I'm going to use it like that because that's how the remaining of my clothes is okay so after that from this end where your sleeve ends okay you're going to come down by one and a half inches for your shoulder slope So one and a half inches then for my neckline I'm going to be using um, I'm going to be using four by four or you can use three and a half by four then for the back you use one and a half so for the front I'm using three and a half by four inches for the front you can see that from the picture that the neck is not too wide okay so i'm using three and a half by four for the front then i'm using let me just use two inches for the back the same three and a half by two inches okay for the back so i'll cover out my neckline I'll cover out my neckline for the back and I'll cover out my neckline for the front. Okay. So this is for my front and this is for my back. My neckline. I use three and a half inches by two inches for the back. Then for the front, three and a half inches by four for the back. So I'm going to be connecting my one and a half inches mark here for the shoulder slope at this tip. The one and a half inches mark to my um, neckline to that point of my three and a half inches neckline. So with a straight ruler, you just slant it. Okay. In a straight ruler, I just slant it down. So this is what you have. From the one and a half inches you came down for your shoulder slope, just slant it to your neck line. Okay. So after doing that, the next thing to do is to come down from your 
neckline um slanting from that 1.5 inches you came down for your neckline you impute your armhole measurement now assuming that this is just a fitted armhole i'll use my normal round armhole which is 7.5 let me just use 8 divided by 2 give me 4 i'll just put 4 here and plus maybe half inches for sewing allowance but now this is a booboo and I, the sleeve is kind of free so um, i'll just put directly that 7.5 that i have i'll just put it directly here and i'll add extra one inch for sewing allowance or you can increase it so since i have 7.5 I'll, I can just make it 10. I can just make my arm O 10. Okay? So it depends on what you want. And some people, they do put elastic band here. So if you need elastic band, you can make your arm O wider. Then you uh, put elastic band. So that by the time that the elastic is being fixed, it will bring the sleeve back. But from the picture you're seeing now, there is no elastic band so i'm just going to make it 10 then i'll add one inch extra for sewing allowance so from that point i added my one inch extra i'm going to come in by 1.5 inches okay i'm going to come in by 1.5 inches you can come down you can come in by one inch you can come in by 1.5 inches it depends it depends on what you want okay so that it will enable me curving curving this arm hole for folding okay it will enable me curving the arm hole for folding so this is my 1.5 inches that i came down this is the shoulder this is 1.5 inches i came down then i came down here to my 10 inches so this is this is my 10 inches mark here plus one inch sewing allowance okay so from the one inch sewing allowance i came down i sorry i came in by 1.5 inches just mark it from the tip of your fabric to 1.5 inches and curve it in this will enable me to fold the hem of my sleeve okay this is just it's just a small curve just give it a small curve so when you want to cut now you will cut from this curve like this straight down there is nothing we are measuring again we are done we're done um drafting we are done marking okay so from this curve now you're just going to connect it straight down but if you don't want it too full you can slant in your hand when you're cutting okay so now what we will cut is this our shoulder slant here we'll cut it out then we'll cut out our neckline here the back first then you remove it and cut out the front okay then you cut out from here straight down if you want it too full just cut it straight down but if you want to um if you want the down part not to be too full then you can slant in your hand probably by two inches so that it won't be too full but from the style we have the dress is very full so we are going to be cutting it straight down i hope we now get it okay so this is a very very simple booboo that we are about to make and you can finish it max 30 minutes so let's cut so i'm going to cut from this little curve we made here i'll curve it in then i'm going to cut straight down then i'll cut my um one and a half inches um shoulder slants So the next thing to do is to cut my neckline. So I'll cut the back first. So this is what we have. So that's that for the cutting. For, so to sew it now, I will go ahead. If you want to weave it, if you want to serge it, please 
do that now just search around the um, neckline i'm sorry the shoulder and the, the side seam okay because the neckline you're going to be hemming it so just search the shoulder and the um and the side seam but i'm going to be using french seam okay if you don't know what french seam is it's simply sewing the front first the right side of the fabric you sew it first outside you know normally if you want to join um two seams together you turn them um you turn to the back you sew from the back but for french seam you sew from the front first then turn to the back and sew it i have a detailed video on how to neatly finish your dresses your ready to wear dresses without a sedger so if you haven't seen that video i'll drop the link in the description below so kindly see the video it's well explained there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to be using the french seam to sew the shoulder i'm going to be sewing the shoulder first join the two shoulders together the front and back this is it i will hem my neckline after hemming my neckline, then I'll pick the two shoulder like this, sew it from the front first, turn it to the back and sew. But I'll show us that when I'm doing it, okay? So let's start sewing. So guys, the first thing to do to make this dress is to join the two shoulder. And remember I said, if you're joining, you can weave it at this moment, at this point, or you use the French seam, which I'm about to use, okay? French seam simply means to sew the uh, right side first before turning it over to the um, wrong side to sew, okay? So, this is my, my two shoulder. I'll just sew it with um, 0 0.25. I'll sew it with 0 0.25 front fabric like this is the front of my fabric so i'm sewing the right side first then later i'll turn it over this is a kind of finishing if you've not seen that video please see it how to finish your dress without a sedger okay so i'll sew so i'll repeat this for the other side whatever i do for this side I will do it for the other side. So guys, after um, doing this, the next thing to do is to flip it over and sew with another um, quarter inch, okay? the shoulder after you flip it over and sew to the wrong side the next thing to do is to hem your um sleeve uh the hem of your sleeve okay so that place that we came down by 10 inches plus one inch sewing allowance and the we went in by 1.5 inches to give it a curve okay this curve this is where you're going to hang so i'll fold um is it so i'll fold my the first one by 0 0.25 then i'll fold over again by half inch so i'm basically just hemming the sleeve part okay so you do this for the two both sides I tell you this dress is super easy to make and fast
so guys after hemming the sleeve part as you can see okay the next thing to do is to sew the two side seam now to sew the two sides seam, I'm, I'm also going to do a front seam for the two side seam so what do i mean by that i'll first sew the right part so now i'll join my two i'll turn it to the front this is the front starting from where my sleeve end that curved part we gave her the sleeve starting from this curved part i'm going to sew straight down okay because this dress is just straight down is a free booboo for all sizes so i'm going to um sew straight down using about 0 0.25 to to sew it then after that i'll repeat it for the two both sides after that i'll flip it over and continue my sewing so let me do this this is the right side of the fabric so i'm sewing 0.25 straight down you can weave if you don't want to go through this process you can weave okay you can set it use your setter to set it your weaving machine to weave it so but i will sew i'll use a french seam for this so so guys having sewn this at the right side i'm going to flip it over to the wrong side and i will sew it one inch sewing allowance okay so this will make it totally concealed i didn't weave it but it's neat okay so if you've not seen that video on how to neatly finish your dresses without a sedge this is that video is for those running a ready to wear line on a project there are five or six practical ways you can finish your dresses without a sedge so at the sleeve remember we added one inch sewing allowance for the sleeve now i've sewn in 0.25 and it's remaining 0.75 but i will use only 0.5 and i'll leave the other 0.25 as extra ease okay so i'm sewing the sleeve alone this sleeve this part i'm sewing this sleeve alone with 0.25 then the rest of the body i'll sew down with one inch okay so Sorry, I'm sewing with 0.5. Then the rest of the body, I'll sew down with one inch. I'll do this for the two sides. So guys, having sewn the two sides, the remaining thing now is to hem the bottom and the neckline. And we are done. Just hem the bottom and hem your neckline. And we are done the neckline you can use bias tape or you can just hem it by turning it like this first then you flip it over second and you sew so that's the remaining thing on this bubble and i'll show us what we've made at the end of the video so guys this is the outcome of the dress that we just made okay so look at look at it you can see how boo -boo, how full it is okay look at it so this is it and this is another shade of the bubble okay you can see how beautiful and how lovely it is is the same this one is the same thing with this one we made the only difference is in the length okay is in the length so is a free dress that fits all like you saw on the picture you can rock it with anything it's is a casual free dress okay and i'm loving it it's so beautiful okay so guys please try yours this is the um sleeve this is the sleeve that we made okay so please try yours and let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful if you have any question please ask me in the comment section if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up like share comment okay i would like to know what we think i would like to know our minds what do you want like 
how do you want to be seeing your videos okay which topics and which topics do you want me to to share okay guys so please share this video with your groups online ask me questions you can reach me directly via whatsapp on my own personal line the the number will be in the description box below so guys this is it i'll see us in our next class for now bye